what I am hearing from Edo State is not good, is not palatable to the ear. We are seeing people calling themselves obedient for Aswe or obedient for the PDP. How does that correlate? What is the relationship between obedient for another party? Obedient is related to the Labour Party and also Obi. Whoever Obi chooses should be the person you are going to choose naturally. Obedient, the Labour Party, Obi, they have a standard, competence, capacity, character. That is what these people stand for. We don't know about the PDP, the APC. We have heard people saying that they are obedient for PDP. Imagine, look at what happened in Enugu State. Obedient for Umba. At the end of the day, some of the lawmakers that won under the platform of the Labour Party, they come from Labour Party to the PDP. These are politicians playing politics with the obedient movement. Uh, it is so unfortunate that some people are saying that uh, those state voters are voting for an Ishang man. It is their turn. Ishan people, no matter where they come from, whether it is APC, whether it's the PDP, or whether it's the Labour Party, Ishan is their turn to rule Edo State. And I'm asking this question. Since we've started choosing from a certain region, how has it developed the state? What are the development strides of you choosing from one region? What have you gained from choosing from one particular region or the other? Why are you not looking at the capacity, competence, character, integrity of the said person that is going to come out and rule your state? You are behaving like the APC. Uh, Bola Metunubu came out and said, it is my turn, Emilokon. So these guys, you are playing the script of the APC. At the end of the day, you turn your back and criticize the APC or criticize the president, Bola Metunubu, for saying, it is my turn. What are you doing that is different from what the APC people are doing? You people form my hand. The Labour Party obedient movement has its led headquarters in Edo State. That is the powerhouse of the obedient movement. How would you say you are going to support somebody else who is not from that party, who does not understand the values of that party? A politician from another political party. What has been the achievement of Obaseki? This guy that is going to become governor under the PDP or that is uh, selected to compete as governor under the PDP has worked with Obaseki failed government. What has Obaseki achieved in the space of eight years? Can you bring it out? Use it as you can use it as your campaign. Peter B went to a do state to campaign for Olumide Akwata, a person that has shown that he is going to align with character, competence, and capacity to move Edo State to the next level. Look at what Alex Oti is doing in Abia State. Look at the changes we are seeing in Abia State. We want that same transformation in Edo State. Don't do like the APC. You voters in Edo State. APC came and said in Milokon, at the end of the day, they have destroyed Nigeria. Ishan is the turn of Ishan. How has it benefited you as an Edo person? How has it improved the livelihood of an Edo person? It is not about where you come from. Hunger, poverty does not know tribe, religion. Development does not know tribe or religion. So, or uh, where you are, constituency, or uh, an ethnic background, or political affiliation. No. The person that is capable, let's not think like some of these guys. Some people say that the president was capable of um, handling the, like taking Nigeria out of the ashes. The same Bola Metunubu supported a Buhari that destroyed Nigeria, even though it was politics. is the same person that people said he had the capability. When he was doing his campaign, he did not promise Nigerians anything tangible. He will hit the ground running. And now look at where we are running to. Some of us are even tired of running. Now, people that are standing on the mandate now is no longer standing on the mandate. You Edo voters, don't think like these other APC supporters that will support a person because of his tribe or where he's from. Support capacity, character, and competence. That is what Nigerians need now. 
whoever that is going to bring progress, development, dividends of democracy to the people is what you should be thinking of. That person is the person that you should vote for. Don't vote for because he is an Ishan man. If an Ishan man comes there or you vote because he's an Ishan man, you don't get the dividends. So it is your on you, the joke is on you people. Voting because of ethnicity or from a certain tribe, the joke is on you. Nigeria has never moved forward because of this kind of politics you are playing. It must come from the north, from the south, east, west. At the end of the day, we have Nigeria as it is today. We are in chains, we are we are butchered, we are downtrodden, we are impoverished because of this kind of politics. And the same thing Edo people are playing. Edo people are wiser. Don't be thinking, don't be playing 1960 or 1970, 1980, 2000 politics. It is not going to benefit the state. It is who has the capacity, irrespective of where that person or where that person comes from. If Olumide Akpata does not come from the Inshang region, that does not mean that you should not vote for somebody who is willing to give you people goods, a livelihood that is good, something that you'll be proud of. Imagine somebody saying that uh, he's obedient for a party that has failed, a party that have, a party that have been in power, that have been there for a long time and there's nothing to show. We are adv advising Edo voters not to play to the gallery. Look at what is happening at Abia State. The people are happy because they made a choice of voting the Labour Party. There's one reason why I'm supporting the Labour Party. It is because of the aura P2B brings into it. It is never because P2B is an Igbo man or because he's from the Southeast or whatever. It is because of what he has said and the track record that is traceable, that is verifiable, and how he can influence Labour Party is a party that has attracted the young people that are willing to see Nigeria work. Forget what some of these APC guys are saying or what they are doing. Labour Party, the obedient movement, they want to see Nigeria work. That's why they speak against anything that is going to impede the development of the country. That's why they are aggressive at corrupt people. They are aggressive at hypocrites. They are aggressive at people that have taken the country backward. So vote the right person don't vote because it is the turn of ishang you people have your children and the future of your children at stake the turn turn by turn politics have not benefited your people get wisdom now edo voters you can say all what you can say i know some people can come under this comment section and say who are you to speak for edo people who am i to speak for edo people when there is hunger when there's inflation when there's crisis you see he doesn't know whether you are a Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, or Efik, Ibibio, or from Langtang, or you are from uh, Kanuri, this one does not know. It's not an Ishan person. Under development, is not an Ishan person. It affects everybody. The, the food security is not an Ishan person. Unemployment is not from Ishan. That's why you see, when people use by God tree, to move their, their their way of reasoning, they reason through by God tree. I wonder, I wonder. Look at the politics being played in Lagos. You are not from this Tiwa and Tiwa. At the end of the day, our Wallow's legacy, these guys have destroyed it with the Tiwa and Tiwa of a thing. By God tree is a demon. By God tree is a demon that that needs to be casted out from Nigerians and especially Edo voters. One thing I like the obedient movement is that they can speak against their leaders. Unlike other parties that they see their leaders as El Shaddai, that they cannot, when they are doing something wrong, they will say, let's pray, let's pray. No, you call them out. That is what is supposed to be. You call them out. If Peter B today messes up, we are going to call him out because Nigeria work is not about him. Whether it's from Igbo, outside Yoruba, it's about the ordinary nigerian that needs to breathe the senators have said it that let the poor breathe please let the people of edo state breathe don't vote people that have failed over and over again if you're a student and there's a teacher 
that sets an exam, the student fails that exam, would you still pass the student? Somebody fails a driving test, would you still give that person keys to a car to drive you people or probably you travel? The person is engaged to drive a bus that will travel from here to Ogun State, Ibado, or any. He has not passed the test. Would you give the person the key? Forget the propaganda because that is what people do these days. People stand on gaslighting and propaganda to move their emotion and their motive. They use propaganda and gaslighting to drive home their point. Don't let anybody gaslight you that Olumide Akpata cannot at least foster a change. The PDP, the APC, you know, I know even the APC, they are, they are like, they are, they are like a prodigal son in a do state. They only bank on the architecture, the structures, because APC is in power. To want to like the person that left APC, he said that APC cannot win any election without Reagan. So that is the badge of the APC. The badge the APC has now, they cannot win elections without Reagan. Let us stand on the side of integrity. Even though we lose the election in a do state, let it be written in the sands of time that we stood for the right thing. Don't because you think you want to win elections by all means, you compromise your stand. P2B has not supported Obaseki's man. You remember, saw the picture where Obaseki went to meet him trying to get a sympathy from P2B. P2B has not supported this man. The person P2B is supporting is Omlumide Akpata. Look at the PDP that even trekked in to pull down signboards of this guy, this new guy, this new kid on the block. Signboards of Labour Party. A pastor, the person's name is a pastor. It starts with the title pastor. He's threatening violence. You can see these guys have a stake of criminality, a structure of criminality where they make money. They make money through criminality structures in the Edo state. Let me tell you, what you operate in Nigeria is a class society. Anybody that's going to stand for the people, this class of people will fight that person. You know, P2B is going to reduce the powers the upper class have against the lower class. There's no average class now. It is a class thing. The higher class and the lower class. That's why when you go to the Senate, they are one, they come together when it comes to sharing money, whether it is Igbo, Aosa, or Yoruba. When it comes to elections, they start the division so as to win elections, so as to have their way, position themselves in the structure of criminality. If you come to places like other states, you see, there's a class of people that benefit from the resources of that state while others are impoverished. They use those people to win elections. At the end of the day, they make policies that will better the lives of those people up there first before you and I. P2B is somebody that is looking towards increasing the GDP of the ordinary Nigerian, improving the livelihood of the ordinary Nigerian. That is what P2B is standing for. Look at what is happening in Abia State. It is the people that are benefiting with the roads, the infrastructure, and what is happening. Those guys, those PDB guys, now they are they have been exposed to how they are milking, how they have been milking the state dry for over 20 years. I told you it's a class thing. From OG Uzokalu to TA OG, from TA OG, we have um, OKC Kwazu, let's say 24 years. These guys have enriched themselves and their cronies. So it's a class thing. Don't let people. Politicians in those state is if you people and want to gaslight you into thinking that Ishan, 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 and they look for somebody Ishan they can groom for their class of people. They always, I know, they donate money to churches, bishops, institutions to support them so that they can remain in that class. It doesn't take anything to transform in those state. Let the people that are capable, that have competence, character, and commitment handle that power and you can see you will see the change the drastic change that will come upon the people of edo state unapologetically i'm supporting labor party because peter b is there he has convinced me so much and i believe in the capacity and the capability of olumide akpata 
I am not a party person. I look at people and what they can offer. If they as well could as well offer anything, I would have said, okay, there's something this guy, but you see, you've been groomed by people that have failed and you have worked in a failed government. I don't believe you can do anything. I don't believe it. So to stop gaslighting yourself that you are obedient for PDP. No, there's nothing like obedient for PDP. Small time now, you will see obedient for APC. You know, go shock you. So, Edo, obedience. Let's be wise.